Howdy everybody, Michael Mass here and welcome to this week's edition of the Disney Diner Review, your one-stop shop for everything food and foodie at Walt Disney World. What I do here on the review is I take you to the restaurants, I show you the menus, I show you the food, I give you my opinion of the food at these restaurants so that the next time you are planning a trip over here, whether it be from across town, coming in from Orlando or across the world, you're going to know, do I want to eat here before you ever step foot on property? Today, today, today we are headed to Morimoto Asia over here in Disney Springs. So if this is your first time here, go ahead, hit that subscribe button and meet me inside, meet me inside Morimoto Asia. So I know what you're thinking, Michael, why are you back at Morimoto Asia so soon? Well, it, it's, it's almost been two years since I reviewed Morimoto. I love it here. Um, so we're gonna look at some new stuff, go over some, some things that maybe I wouldn't have thought to order in the past, and just talk about it that way. Plus, I just wanted to feature Disney Springs restaurants for the next four or five, maybe three, four, five, I don't know, several weeks, definitely, and just talk about that. So, how about this? Do you have a favorite Disney Springs restaurant? Or do you even make it over to Disney Springs? Do you go to Disney Springs to eat or do you just like eat in the parks or eat at the resorts all the time? Let me know down in the comments what your favorite Disney Springs restaurant is and maybe we can help somebody find or maybe even help me discover a place that is a hidden treasure that maybe I don't know about. been seated outside they don't open the upstairs to the outside up till five o'clock I had a four o'clock reservation and opted to sit around for the outside view just because I know the photos and everything else will look so beautiful up here so let's look at the menu first off we will start off with noticing that it's huge there's a lot on this menu if I'm correct there's five or six kitchens in this restaurant so we'll look at the sushi and we're not gonna break it down individually as this is a huge, huge menu, but I will say the sushi here is amazing and fresh. Uh, I've loved it every time I've been here. Then you have the small plates and the appetizers basically. You go on down to the dim sum. We got the dumplings and the bao. And you go over here, you see the soups and the salads. You also have that spare rib, which uh, by the way is delicious and most people swear by. You'll have your steaks and your chicken here with the meat and poultry. You also have the duck, another thing that people supposedly love, but I've never had. I'm not a big duck fan, really. You also have the fish and the veggies. On down to the noodles and the rice. And I will tell you something that I will swear by on this. That tonkatsu ramen is amazing here. Really, really, really good. Like I said, quite the extensive, extensive menu here at Morimoto Asia. So I will say that we are here during Magical Dining Month. It's right at the end of Magical Dining Month, which actually ends September 30th. So when this airs, it'll be long past, but every every year during September, Magical Dining, and their entrees are a little different. They actually have size differences and portion differences here at Morimoto Asia, unlike some other places we've been. But we're still gonna order something off of this venue to check it out. So here at Morimoto's, they operate out of several kitchens and you're gonna get whatever comes out to the table the fastest and the freshest. So if you order five, six things, it's just as they come basically. And here is the first thing to come out. Coming from the sushi kitchen, obviously, that, that spicy tuna roll, which my favorite thing about that here is it's not the ground up tuna, it is a whole tuna. And usually it is so ridiculously fresh and delicious. We did end up ordering off the magical dining menu as well as off the main menu. And this is the heirloom salad off of that magical dining menu. Wow, doesn't that look pretty and delicious all at the same time? As well, we're also sampling or trying or eating or whatever you would like to call it, these portobello mushroom fries. I'm definitely ready to dig into all of this food. It's coming out so fast that I really haven't had a chance to sink my teeth into it while trying to shoot the video on it. Also dumplings have came out and we have Kung Pao chicken dumplings and we also have the shrimp dumplings. Uh, so much food, so little time. As I always say, I think it's time to eat. I 
save a complete review to the end, but you know what? I'm gonna break in here. By the way, bring a host of people if you wanna eat this much food. There's so much food on the table. Let's start off with the sushi, which I thought was amazing. Like I said, they use chunks of tuna instead of like the ground down tuna when it comes to their spicy tuna roll. Uh, next up, I had just a couple of bites off that heirloom salad. Amazing. Uh, the portobello mushroom fries. Definitely get that. If you just come in and get an appetizer here, or I don't know if that's on the late night menu. If it's on the late night menu, I would say just stop in. Just walk, walk in, get those portobello mushroom fries because that's so, so, so good. And last but not least, the dumplings. They were good. I just had one of each, but definitely recommend the dumplings too. So far, everything has been amazing, and we still have more food to come. Next out is the Burry Bop and that lobster hot pot. Here's the sticky wings guys, they've came out and it's time to chow down on those. This is what I'm saving room for, it's, it's stuff like this that I already know is amazing and that I want to keep eating. So here goes the sticky wings. Entrees have came and went mostly. Uh, the burry bop, which I want to call mmm bop. No, it's not, it's burry bop. Uh, the fish, the rice was really good. I just tried a little bit of that. Uh, my part of this was that lobster hot pot. The lobster hot pot, oh! I, I hope they hold it over because right now it's only here for magical dining. So hopefully they hold that over because it was really good. You can see how. And then last but not least, those sticky ribs that were just, they're always here and they're always amazing. So definitely, definitely recommend those. I think we got dessert coming and then uh, I'll wrap it up here shortly. Okay, so you'll have to forgive the lighting on this one as the sun has went down and we have just completely ran out of daylight. But we still have room for dessert and this is that mango cheesecake from the Magical Dining Menu. So that was the dining experience known as Morimoto Asia. And I say experience because it literally is an experience to dine at this restaurant. Every time I'm here, I love it. I just, it's amazing, seriously. Let's go through the meal real quickly. Everything was great. I think I've already kind of did the review. Um, let me see if I can just pinpoint my favorite things. The sushi, amazing. Uh, the freshest sushi, just the best all around when it comes to sushi here. I really love it. Let's go with the next thing is those wings. I seriously love, love, love those wings. And what's funny is they took a little bit to grow on me, but they are amazing and I love them now. Next up, the hot pot, which like I said, not all the time are you gonna be able to get that because it is, it is only here during magical dining. So hopefully they carry that over to the main, main menu and uh, do that, but the hot pot was definitely the way to go there. The dessert at the end was good. I enjoyed the cheese, it was a mango cheesecake. I definitely enjoyed it. I would recommend it if it was on the main menu. But once again, that's another one of those magical dining specialties. So we'll see if that makes the main menu as well. Obviously, it goes without saying that I am a big fan of Morimoto Asia here in Disney Springs. Seriously, love, love, love this restaurant. It's seriously amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Definitely get down here. Definitely try it out. It is on my must list. It is a five star. Five star. Tops of the must list. If there's anything past the must list, like get in your car, drive 100 miles and eat at this place. This is one of those type of dining experiences that you're going to want to enjoy. That is it for this episode of the Disney Dine Review. Make sure you check out Morimoto Asia. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. I'm gonna get out of here. And until next time, guys, thank you for your time. Here's to life.